Good morning, FHS. Let's get excited because it's finally Friday. Good morning. I'm Emily, and aren't you excited that it's Friday? And better yet, football starts tonight. On today's news, it's going to be sports, DECA, trivia, and more on today's news. Please stand. I pledge of allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic of which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. With yesterday's trivia, we had some really good answers, but unfortunately, the answer was not Amazon. It was McDonald's. Big shout out to Carly Roberts, Robert Jaycox, and Mrs. Bishop with the correct answer. We also want to shout out to Mr. Mrs. Rushton with her simplicity with the answer Amazon. Thank you. The trivia question for today is, what is the first company to be worth $2 trillion? Students and staff, look around the room to get your answer. The first person to email us with the correct answer will get a point. At the end of the trimester, whoever has the most points will earn a free breakfast from the Hot Dog Network. Best Buddy signups have been extended to next Friday, August 28th. Please go online using the email sent and sign up if you are interested. What shows you support FHS students? Show up. If possible, show up and support them. It is understandable that not everyone can't make it to all the games due to the limited ticket sales and health concerns. If you can't make it, you can still show your support. Watch them from home. Hot Dog Network will have a student-run production of tonight's football game available on the ISC Sports Network pay-per-view. So support your football team, band, cheerleaders, and Hot Dog Network students by watching tonight's production. Haha, ha, and me, I will be on camera one. Not a sports with Violet, the homo sapien, not the caller. Hello, hot dogs. The girls' golf team competed against Taylor on Thursday night. Sydney Caesar and Emily Shipley tied for first with the 41. The boys' tennis team got the dub 4-1 over Danville. Off the courts first were the number two doubles team of Aiden Hudspeth and Edwin Wainscott. They did a great job of maintaining a solid game plan and displayed terrific sportsmanship. Number one doubles team of Elijah West and Luke Hodge were the next winners off the court. Chase Thomas at two singles played a smart and controlled match. The fourth point came at one singles, played by Jim Osler, who fought his way from behind and grabbed the win. The results from the Frankfurt Invitational showed the girls' team placing third. Top finishers Karina Alanis took second place. She also broke the Frankfurt girls' home course school record, previously held by Graham Warwick in 2009 by six seconds with a new PR of 21-10. Boys' team placed second and were only three points behind Hamilton Heights. Angel Perez and Daniel Pritchett led the team by finishing first and second place. Boys soccer team traveled to Western Boone to open their 2020 conference season. 12 minutes into the contest, Rudy Garcia Cruz scored to put the hot dogs up 1-0. The varsity hot dogs are now 1-1 on the season and 1-0 on conference play. The junior varsity boys soccer team also got the dub. The boys team came out ready to play, managing to score five goals in the first half. The volleyball team fell to South Mountain Thursday, 1-3. Leading offensively was Bella Colby and Macy Starrett with each eight kills. Mercedes Tony added 11 digs, and Morgan Anderson had five kills, and Allison Timmons had four kills. Good luck to all the teams in action tonight and tomorrow. Have a great weekend, hot dogs. Now back to your hosts. Reminder, the food pantry at the Boys and Girls Club will be Tuesday at 11. Frankfurt DECA members, the Frankfurt DECA leadership and team application is now available. You have four days to complete the application. You can find the application on the Frankfurt DECA Canvas page. I encourage you to apply. Become a leader for Frankfurt DECA. I encourage you to apply as well. All right, that is it for the announcements today. Psych, Emily. Did you really think we forgot about lunch? For lunch today, it will be cheeseburger with fries. That is it for the announcements. Good luck to all the football players tonight. Have a great weekend and make smart choices. We will see you right back here on Monday. Stay safe, hot dogs.